Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and today I will be trying to spark joy in my bedroom. Um, not like that, unfortunately. So there's a show on Netflix called Tidying Up. Marie Kondo, Kondo? Marie Kwan Kondo. Marie, I should probably look this up. Tidying Up, Mar, 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 Tidying Up Marie Kondo, or Mar, Marie, I think it's Marie. Anyway, whatever. So basically people go through their homes and they go through all their stuff, they pick up an item, and if it sparks joy, they keep it, and if it doesn't, they throw it away. So I thought that I would do that today. I am very, very bad at throwing stuff away, like really bad. So yeah, it's something that I need to do, is go through my room and declutter and get rid of all the, all the crap. Do you know what I mean? Everything that's holding me back in life. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Hope you enjoy. Okay, I'm just gonna start. Um, hmm. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> I did not think this through. I have a lot of clothes. Like it's like mainly clothes I need to go through. Like I have so much pajamas. There, I, there, I don't need. I don't need that many pajamas. Okay, is this sparking joy? I got these in Thailand years ago and I used them as pajama bottoms and wait now until you see this. <laughs> um, there is a hole in the crotch. Um, there is a hole in the crotch and um, I continue to wear them. Okay, I'm gonna have to let them go. So I'm supposed to thank something when I'm giving it away. Thank you for clothing me in Thailand and thank you for serving as pajamas. You did a good job, except for when you broke and made a massive hole in the crotch. That was not cool, but you did your best. Oh my God. I forgot that I had this. Um, This is my horrible ex-boyfriend's. He gave it to me and this is typical. It's like, oh, you can have my jacket. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh cool, thank you. A massive hole in the, <laughs> in the pocket. Thank you. Okay, I can safely say this does not spark joy. Uh, instead of sparking uh, nausea and an anxiety attack. <laughs> I don't feel right thanking this because the owner doesn't deserve my thanks. Thank you, next. I genuinely can't believe I still have that. It was like at the very back of my wardrobe. Shoved way in the back. Kind of like what I do with my emotions. Look what I just found in the corner of my room. <laughs> so me and my sister went to this restaurant for Valentine's Day because we didn't have anyone else. And they were giving out these handcuffs. Like this was a kind of restaurant where like the clientele was mainly like over 50. Is this sparking me joy? No. I mean, I mean, there's the possibility of this sparking me joy in the future, hopefully. I'll just hold on to it for a little longer. Just maybe I'll need to do a citizen's arrest one day and you know, just handy to have it. Like look at this massive box full of crap. Oh my god, it's actually a million pairs of sunglasses. And actual glasses, because I am blind. Oh, actually, these are my old, these are my old glasses before I got new glasses. I actually love these glasses. These glasses spark me a lot of joy. Whereas these babies, I wore for so long, and now I'm just like, they're awful. Oh, and they're super stretched. Yeah, they're just too blocky. Do you know what I mean? They just, my whole face is glasses when I wear these. They're not sparking me joy. Look how wide they are. What the hell? They obviously got like bent. Christ almighty. <laughs> Thank you for making me not blind for so many years. Finally, people had individual strands of hair. Finally, there were leaves on the trees. Everything made sense. Thank you for that. Oh, I'm feeling very Chris Jenner in these. I'm sorry, this is so difficult for me. I feel like, I don't know. Please comment down below if you have this kind of an issue. Parting with your stuff. Like, I know, logically, that this summer, there's gonna be more sunglasses that I'm gonna buy, number one. Number two, I already have two nice sunglasses that I've just said I'd keep. But for some reason, I'm like, no, what if there's one day that I need this specific pair of glasses and I don't have them? This is so difficult. Is it sparking me joy? It's sparking pity. Do you know what? That's what it is. It, things are sparking pity because I feel bad for throwing them away. Like, I can't... <laughs> Uh, this does not spark me joy. So I got this in pennies. I was like, oh, I need like a little over the shoulder bag for nights out. I was like, oh, this has so much space. I can fit loads in here. It was eight euro. As you can see, I did not bring it back because I'm bad at that kind of stuff. So I was dead, well, I wasn't dead excited, but like I was pretty happy that I'd found a suitable bag. I was like, I just need a bag, like pretending to be Gucci, who cares? So I take it home anyway. This is the length of the handle. Let me just, uh, let me just put it on for you. I feel like I'm in Mean Girls wearing this bag. And then I was like, oh, you can make it, you can make it longer. Like, okay, I get it. No, no, let me just show you how long it goes. Like, I'm sorry, this is the stupidest bag design I have 
ever come across. I am like so annoyed at myself that I spent eight euro on this garbage. That's how long it goes. <laughs> like, is this a manufacturing fault? What's going on here? It's such a weird length. It's, it's, it's not, it's not long. This is stupid and it's not sparking me joy. Thank you for not having long enough straps, you idiot. Totally forgot about these. These were at the back of my wardrobe. I wonder is there alcohol in them? Oh my God, how full would that be? No, I sound empty, how sad. That is not sparking me joy. Oh my God, if this was full, I could have sparked so much joy. Oh my God, it smells violent. Oh my God, it smells of whiskey. When was I drinking whiskey? Obviously only one time that I realized what a horrible idea it was. This one doesn't smell. Maybe I had like soup in this one or something, you know, just try and like stay healthy. I'm gonna say not sparking me joy. I don't really need them. Do I? This is terrible. I'll keep one. I have a lot of pairs of runners. These are sparking me joy. These, these are not sparking me joy. This one, this one has a hole in the, in the front of it. So like, that's not good. Do you know what I mean? But again, like, it's just tough to throw away. Do you know what I mean? I find this so difficult. I'm like, oh, the memory attached to this shoe. No, that's sad. Um, like I have so many other runners right now, but I'm like, if I throw this away, I'm never gonna see it again. Do you know what I mean? I'm never gonna get that rush of nostalgia. I should really throw them away. Thank you so much. Like, honestly, thank you. <sighs> this, is, this is so tough. Okay, these shoes are a bit battered, but these do bring me joy because they're wedges and they're easy to walk in. These devil shoes do not spark me joy at all. So obviously these are like massively in fashion, like just, you know, simple shoe with a little strap here. I do not know how people were wearing these. I wore these one night. First of all, excruciating pain. Second of all, my foot was like sliding in and out of these. Like this was not, like this is not a secure shoe. Look at that. That is not secure. That's, that's not gonna be secure while I'm frolicking about. Whereas this is more secure. And look at this gorgeous wedge. It's easier to walk in. This, so much pain. <sighs> it did fit me. It just was like the most uncomfortable shoe I have ever worn in my life. So this does not spark me joy and will be parting ways. And I'm not even sad to see it go. Good riddance. Thank you for giving me so much pain. Um, going through this bag scares me because it is all my bikinis. The majority don't fit me. No, like some of them are honestly hilarious. Like this one is nice, really pretty design. Don't know what size boobs I thought I had when I purchased this. Don't know, don't know. Look how cute this bikini is. Look how cute this bikini is. I'm gonna be honest, this, this does not fit me, <laughs> but it will someday, okay? This actually does spark me joy because it's sparking me joy imagining how I'm gonna look wearing this in a couple of months. So this actually sparks motivation for me. So I'll be keeping this. Same goes for these. Look how cool these are. I got these at the same time. These are both Victoria's Secret and the best part about them is they have that part on the bum. So they just sit nicely where your bum is and you don't have to be you know, pulling your knickers out of your ass all day. These are not sparking me joy. I don't know why I own these, to be honest. They don't have that bum thing that I was talking about. So they're gonna make my bum look like I'm wearing nappy. No, thank you. Next. This definitely sparks me joy. This is exactly how I look when I wear this. <laughs> this is from Hollister and I actually love this bikini top. I was in Mexico two summers ago and I was wearing this and I was going for a walk down the beach and this like old, fat, short Mexican man was like watching me like pervert. Like I walked, up and then I walked back again. So like the whole time, I could just, I could sense it. And the second time I walked back, he was like, hey. He was like, you have nice pineapples. I was like, okay. No, that's a complete lie. Secretly, I was loving it, obviously. I was like, maybe I'll do another, maybe I'll walk by him again. Just, you know, see what else he has to say about my pineapples. <laughs> I feel like if girls are ever like, oh my God, like I just got cackled. It's like, okay, come on. As if you weren't delighted with yourself. Hashtag feminism. Here's another thing that I own that sparks me joy at the thought of ever being able to wear it, but not being able to wear it at the same time. This fully still has the tag on it. Look how pretty this is. It's so pretty, but it doesn't fit me. No, it's gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I paid good money for this. I paid, I paid average money for this. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it until I can wear it, guys. I'm doing it, okay? I know that's probably not healthy, but I don't care. It's so pretty. Do you know what? This is going on my mood board. <laughs> I don't have a mood board, but maybe I should do it. That could be my goal. That's gonna be my, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. 
by summertime, I am gonna fit into that, number one. Number two, I am gonna have someone that I can wear it for. <laughs> That's also going on my mood board. Um, hands up who has a bad habit of buying stuff that doesn't fit you in the hopes that one day you're gonna get the motivation to actually lose weight and one day that it will fit you. Yeah, that is like a chronic illness of mine. Like I will fully buy jeans in like a size eight. I'm not a size eight. And I'm like, but one day I will be. One day I will. I, I think I'm a size eight in my mind. My body's like, eh hun, no. What are you doing? We are not a size eight. Stop it right now. My brain's either like, either put that in the bread or stop thinking you're a size eight. Because you're not. Oh, great. Here's another item of clothing that just cracked under the pressure and just didn't do its job anymore. So these Adidas leggings honestly sparked me so much joy, which I should just, I'm just gonna, I should just buy a new pair. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Again, I'm bad at, I'm bad at doing things. I'm bad at running errands. This did spark me joy. And then Christmas sparked me joy. And Christmas food specifically sparked me joy. And again, and again, and again. And um, then I, I sparked right out of these leggings. <laughs> Sorry, they're kind of dirty. There's makeup on them. Don't judge me. So this is them. So, John, I'm actually going to try them on so you can see. Okay, they're on. Let me just show you. Now, before I show you, just get a grip on yourself because once seen, you will be super attracted to me. So just so you know, get ready. There's one and there's the other. Like, I'm literally bursting at the seams in these leggings. So yeah, I think it's pretty safe to say these leggings do not spark me joy. They're probably sparking like mild self-esteem issues. Okay, I don't want this video to be super long. Honestly, I could be here for literally the next two hours sorting through my room. So I'm probably gonna continue without you, but thank you for coming along this journey with me so far. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video. Maybe I will do a part two of trying to spark joy in my room because I have a lot of crap. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.